Ah, now here I'm making my gluten-free pastry, and um, I normally make it very slowly, but I'm wanting to get finished. Look, can you see? And you see, I've got, I've got the flour, the um, soft butter. It's an olive spread, actually. I've got in here. I've got my egg yolks, and um, I just put put in most of the water. Uh, that's eight teaspoonfuls of water, and I'm mixing it all with a um, pastry tool. I've got my um, I've got the oh, xanthan gum in and a little baking powder, and I'm just going to very quickly whip it all together. They do say that if you, if you throw things together, it's much better. And you see, I can't hold this up all the time. Yes, I can. Uh, there we are. Anyway, in, there's no machines going. That's the trouble with these things. No, if you have a machine going, you can't possibly hear. So I'm just going to mix this very quickly. I think I might need a little more water in just a second. And of course, I got all this ready before um, before we had supper. We've just eaten. We had a sausage casserole tonight, which was been in the freezer. And I was making that chocolate chinchilla pudding, uh, a recipe by Elizabeth David from many years ago. It's wonderful because it uses up leftover egg whites. And as I've now made three, yes, I'm going to need some more water. I've got two more. Hopefully that'll be enough. I don't know, it may not be. I've got three in actually. Uh, so that's 11. Um, yeah, so I've um, had six egg whites left over because I'd use the egg yolks into my pastry. You can use between five and seven egg whites and I had used six. So um, actually the chocolate chinchilla pudding was, was scrumptious. My oven did burn it a little bit I'm afraid but it only made it very crisp on the on the underside so that was okay. Gosh this flour is being silly. There's a the trouble with pastry it always it always does its own thing. I expect somebody to say that's rubbish, but you know, that's how what I find. And um, probably because I'm trying to make it very quickly. But look, actually, it's going. Can you see? It's actually. Where can I do it? There you are. It's actually getting mixed up together and it's quite good. I expect now if I put my hand in, it would go here more easily and more quickly, but it's going. So I'm just going to run, I'm just going to put my hand in and just get the last bits in. Yes it is, it's quite wet enough. And this pastry I'm going to actually leave until late tomorrow afternoon to give it a really good time to settle. I think that is the answer. And it doesn't really want to get too cold. Although having said that, of course you can freeze it and, and then it makes and then thaw it out, of course. See, look, I've used, I have one of these things, one of these American tools. They're very good, actually. Um, so there we are. Can you see? It's, it's coming together really nicely. And I don't want to use too much flour. That is the death knell of all good pastry. We do not want to have too much flour. It just makes it heavy. And I'm not a light hand at making pastry. I never have been. I do love pastry. Oh. But I think the thing to do is to make pastry put it into your freezer and then get it up when you need it so you can just quickly roll it up, throw it together and then eat it when it comes out of the oven. But I think unless you're an absolutely brilliant chef, pastry can be a little dry. Uh, and this, of course, you have to be so careful rolling this one out as it's gluten-free. It has no gluten, of course, so it doesn't, um, doesn't rise and it is a little bit heavier, but... Well, it's better than not eating pastry. That's, those are my thoughts about it. I would rather have gluten-free pastry than no pastry at all. So I'm just going to wrap this up in, in a little sheet of foil. I mean cling film. <laughs> Isn't cling film difficult to get off? I keep on saying I should have one of these wall-mounted units where you can keep it. Ah, oh, here we are. It's coming now. I suppose I'm getting to the end of the roll. There we are. And I'm just going to... Oops, it is. It just be so annoying when you're in a professional kitchen. Cling film doesn't roll easily. Right, there we are. I think that 
I've made 12 sausage rolls that amount, which is quite good. And that's my, that's my pastry. Um, yes, it's quite tender, um, and it doesn't really cohere as well as normal pastry, but, and I'm not going to handle it too much because I am heavy-handed, but that'll be my pastry, and I will just keep it cool until tomorrow, and then make some more sausage rolls or, mmm, mince pies. Okay, well, I'll put the recipe up tomorrow too. All right, bye for now. Bye.